going to be doing this after today. So, uh, and I want everybody trained in everything because I will probably change crews several times. Like one day I may say, okay, you five guys do the studio, you five guys do the control room. Then I might say, uh, all females do the control room, <coughs> all males do whatever. So, uh, we're going to run through the procedure here and set it up. First thing you want is safety. Now somebody put these here right in the middle of the walkway. These are black. Come in here and walk right into them until your eyes adjust. So always make sure you got clear, clear floor space. Turn the work lights on. These will never, uh, by the way, it, it gets quite dark in here, as you can see. Uh, turn on all the uh, work lights so you can see what you're doing. And we're going to start over here on the lighting board. Once again, it's review. Uncover it. Feel for the uh, switch right underneath this cutout. Push it once and let it go. What's that? And you'll see, see it pop up for you. Then you might want to just check it real quick. Uh, bring up the uh, master for the A bus up here. And just, you know, you can either hit them like this. I usually like number one because I can see it flashes in my eyes. And that's up to full. Works. We're good to go. Okay. Now at this point, you know, you're going to actually set up the lights for whatever show you're doing or run whatever was already set up. So this is on. It's good to go. Leave it alone. You don't, need to, don't need to do anything else. Next item out here to set up is the studio monitor. And back behind here is the remote. Uh, he put Velcro on so it will stay with the unit. All you got to do out here is power it up. Hit the green button. That should change to green. And put it back. You don't need to make any adjustments or anything. Everything is pre-wired on this. Just get it going. You won't see anything until we start feeding it something. Next issue, and you might want to get a team of five or so on these other two cameras. You guys ready? Come around this side, Jeff, you're going to shoot me. Take off the plastic. We ought to have this down, by the way. Last crew, when they left, had this down to a minute and a half to, from walk in to on the air. So we're not going to try to do that right away, but over time you guys will get faster and faster. <clears throat> Take the plastic off. And stick it somewhere in any place you can. You'll notice that these cable camera are all, cables are always laid out in a figure eight pattern. So as you're pulling the camera forward, it will come off this bundle of eight straight away. No knots, no nothing. Okay, very clean, very precise, and that's definitely the way you want it to look whenever you're done. Rule of thumb in any studio at, everywhere, leave it exactly the way you found it. That means clean up all your garbage, make sure everything's back where it ought to be. So, I'm going to get rid of this for the moment. And for today, now we're going to go into a lot more detail about this later, uh, how to unlock the... Uh, tripod heads or the uh, pedestal heads and all that jazz. But for right now, your big concern is to get the plastic off and push the power button forward. Let me repeat. Push the power button forward. Okay, you can do this by feel, like so. There's an indentation here. Just feel it, push it forward. Now you go ahead and do the other two cameras. <laughs> <laughs> it's the same cameras that we were working with yesterday. Yeah, there, well, that, there's a reason for that. <laughs> you want them to be interchangeable in case one goes down. Okay, feel inside. Find that on button. It's the only one with a cutout. You guys got it? Yeah. Okay, all three are on. Let's go to the control room. 
turn on the lights. It takes a minute for your eyes to adjust as you can see. Now, these are work lights, <coughs> meaning this is for setup. Once you got everything plugged in, turned on, all your engineering is working, you really don't want to use those. You want to use these. These are very expensive, and they're, they're set up this way on purpose so there's no glare on the windows. You also notice the windows are indented like this. Everything to cut out glare from the studio so you can see out there. So once you get set up, you want to turn on those lights. Turn them all the way down at, at the night till you hear them click. If you don't hear them click, they're still on, like so. You always want to hear that click, and then it's off. So back to the work light, since we're not ready yet. Let's go power things up. First rule of engineering. Turn it, turn it on. Turn it on. We know the cameras are on, right? Yeah. So we're, we're good to go. Turn on first. Okay. Now this is the switcher. Oh, we gotta take the plastic off. Though. Somebody grab it and just put it aside. I don't like to turn anything on when it's covered with plastic. Overheat. Yeah, and just toss it anyway. Okay, on with the switcher. There, and there. Again, always look for an alarm. You see an alarm, something's wrong. You see that, you know, oh, I forgot something, probably. Turn both on. This has no switches. It's already set up for fault. Uh, this just needs to wake up. Just hit it once to wake up, hit it again to go to sleep. So wake it up, it's on all the time. This switch on, and now comes the important one. That's the cameras. This is where you want to pause. Make sure the cameras are turned on. We know they are, so I'm going to turn on all three cameras. We don't use the one uh, on the um, jib arm that frequently, so I don't really turn that one on. Now, what you're seeing is it's, lo it's looking for a signal, and right now it's getting a signal from camera one. You see that go dark just now? Yes. Uh, there's a ghost. Okay. Camera two, camera three. So this will allow you to see on this monitor the individual pictures. Also camera four, which is not on right now. And it tells you, no signal. Uh, P2 deck, which is this, nothing on right now. Uh, what does that say? Rack? Mac, the Macintosh. Nothing in that right now. Program, that'll be the output of the switcher. This is where you want it most of the time. Okay, so everything here is powered up. Now, I warned you that I'm going to have to get down on my knees. So here's the hidden part. You can find a better way to do this. Okay. Take a look. This is the back side of the uh, hard drive array right here. And uh, I really need to get reached. Maybe just put a switch on here or something. But for for time being, here are the power switches. One for the top deck, one for the on. bottom deck. They both have to be on. Okay? You'll hear the fans start up. So don't forget to shut those off at night. You think I'm going back down there again? You're crazy. Have it, Darren. Okay. Why don't you crawl in there and I'll tell you when you hit the right one. Okay, let's go through here. Now, how do we know the blue lights should be on? And they are. Uh, you want to boot that. Oh, this is the uninterrupted power supply. Don't worry about that. It's on all the time. Uh, you want to make sure those blue <laughs> lights are on before you boot the Mac. Uh, so that when the Mac spins up, it'll go immediately to the hard drive array rather than the hard drive inside the Mac. So then you can power up the Mac, which is this goofy little button here. Normally, we don't power up the um, teleprompter unless we're using it. So just leave it. It works? <laughs> you got it. Okay. Uh, moving on. Treat this one a little bit gently. 
This is the character generator. And we've talked about it, but I haven't shown it to you yet. By the way, look at this. That's why we cover, look at, look at the dust. That's why we cover everything up at night. I mean, even with the covers, it's filthy in here. Look at that screen. Yeah, it is what it is. Okay. Now, <clears throat> I like to see what I'm doing, so I'm going to turn on the big screen. Notice it's red, meaning off. Same thing in here. Hit the green button. Bada boom. I'm going to turn on the Compix, which is the character generator. Now, the guts for this computer are over here. And it's, everything's labeled. Character generator. Open this up. And power it up. Here's the switch. When you shut it down, just like the light board, don't use this switch. Y'all getting this? When you power down, use the, uh, the uh, software. The only time you use the switch is when you power up. Hit it once. It'll tell you what's going on. Power's on. Hard disk drive is looking. And it makes a little bit of noise. So close the door. And we'll show you what that does. You'll get a signal coming up over here in a second. Make sure you take good notes on how to use this. 